In this video, we will look at how we can find the equation of a line if we don't know what the y-intercept is. In this case, we're going to know one specific point on the line. Because it's a specific point, I'm going to call it x1, y1, because we would actually know the numbers that went in there. The other point, I just want to be a generic x, y point, being any random other point on the line. We remember that the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equal to the slope. Since x1 and y1 already have a subscript of 1, let's call that our first point, and the generic xy, let's call that our second point. Plugging into the formula, we then have y2, which is just y, minus y1 over x2, which is just x, minus x1 equals the slope. With this equation, we're simply going to clear ourselves of the fraction. We do that by multiplying by that denominator, x minus x1. on both sides. As we do, the x minus x1's divide out, and we're simply left with the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This formula is what we will call the point-slope formula. It is much more powerful than the slope-intercept formula because it works for any point that we know x, y, and a slope. If we know a specific point that we can plug in for the x1 and y1 and the slope, we can quickly find the equation of the line. For example, in this problem, we pass through the point negative 3, 5. We will use that specific point for x1, y1. We also know it has a slope of negative 2 thirds, which we always represent with the letter m. The point slope formula, another good one to memorize, is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. To find our equation, we replace the key num values that we have found. y minus y1, which we said was 5, equals m, or the slope, which we said was negative 2 thirds, times x minus x1, which is negative 3. Subtracting a negative 3 would be the same as adding a positive 3, and so we get the equation y minus 5 equals negative 2 thirds times x plus 3. This is the equation of the line that passes through negative 3, 5 and has a slope of negative 2 thirds. Let's consider a similar example, but this time tacking on the directions to give the final answer in slope-intercept form. We will start much the same way with x1, y1 as the point given to us, and the slope we know is m. When we have a random point and a slope, we use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in these key values, we get y minus y1, which is negative 2. Subtracting a negative is like adding positive 2, equals m, our slope is 4, times x minus x1, which we found was 6. However, the directions want us to give our final answer in slope-intercept form, which means we must ultimately solve this equation for y. We can do that by first distributing through the parentheses to clear those out of the way. y plus 2 equals 4x minus 24. Finally, subtracting 2, we'll get the y alone. We now have y equals 4x minus 26. This now is the equation in slope-intercept form that's going to go through the point 6, negative 2, and the slope is 4. The slope-intercept equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, can help us find the equation of any line.